Hello and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Zach Christer. I'm an Ableton certified trainer. And for today's quick tip, I want to talk a little bit about a feature that just doesn't often get mentioned a whole lot, which are the different launch modes in live, which will change the way live behaves when you trigger a clip, either with your mouse or with a MIDI controller. So first, let's take a look at what we have going on here. Uh, we just have a little drum beat, sounds like this. So generally, when you are triggering a clip in live, you hit it once, it's going to play it. And if you trigger it again, it's going to replay it from the beginning. Like that. If you use session view before, that's, that's just the way it works. However, we can change this with the launch modes, which we can access by first hitting this little triangle guy right here. Or if you're still using Live 10, the little L button down in the corner. This will open up our launch area, which includes things like all the different launch modes, of which there are four of them. So trigger mode is the default mode, which is what you've already been using. You hit it once, it plays it, and then if you hit it again, it plays it again from the beginning. If I switch this to a different mode, for example, gate mode, gate mode means that as long as I'm holding down the mouse or my MIDI controller, it'll play that clip, and if I let it go, it's going to stop playing. So I've got uh, this clip mapped to this MIDI note right here. It's going to play it. I let go. It stops it. Keep in mind that both the start and the stop are quantized to whatever your global quantize is. However, we can change that as well. So down here, we have our per, per clip quantization. Right now, it's set to global. But if I set this to something like quarter notes, if I hold this down and then I let go on the next quarter note, it'll stop playing. Or if I wanted to, I could even set this to be off, which means as soon as I touch it, it's going to start playing. And as soon as I let go, it's going to stop playing. So you can kind of adjust the two of these together in tandem, and a bunch of the launch modes can kind of change depending on what your quantization is. Uh, so that's how gate mode works. You either hold it down and play it, let go, it's not going to play it, and it, both the start and the stop are quantized. The next launch mode is going to be called toggle. Toggle is very similar to trigger. I'm going to hit this once to play it, and then if I hit it a second time, it's going to stop it. So again, both start and stop are quantized. Like that. So think about like a light switch. You flip it once, turn it on, flip it again, turn it off. So it allows you basically to do two things with one button, which can be really handy if you are running out of MIDI mappings on your controller. The final launch mode is called repeat. And this one I think is kind of the hidden gem here. This is actually pretty cool. The way this works is if you hold down a MIDI note, it's going to repeat it based on the quantization. When you let go, it'll just play the rest of the clip through. So if I switch the quantization to be something like eighth notes and I hold down a MIDI note, It's just going to repeat it. So it acts a lot like trigger mode, except for when you hold it down, it repeats it. And we can change the quantization here to do some like cool, interesting, either like glitchy things or like beat juggling kind of rhythms. So it makes it really easy and it's pretty fun to play around with. Uh, so those are, that's it. Those, those are the four launch modes. Trigger mode is what you're used to. Hit it once to play it, trigger it again to have it start from the beginning. Gate mode, you hold it down, it plays it, you let go, it stops playing it. Toggle mode, wants to play it, wants to stop it. And repeat mode, if you hold it down, it repeats. When you let go, it just plays it. So these are all really cool, fun, interesting ways to kind of customize how live responds to MIDI messages. Uh, however, it's not something you're gonna be using in your like everyday today kind of production stuff. Uh, however, if you're building like a really cool, interesting custom live performance setup, this could be really useful, especially when combining things like launch modes as well as the uh, per clip quantizations to kind of customize it and make it behave exactly the way you want. So that way when you get on stage, you can perform the way you want. Uh, so that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed watching that. If you did, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. I release videos every Monday and Thursday, as well as streaming on Tuesdays and Fridays. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you again soon.